Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another Vlogmas video and welcome to the beginning of a week of workouts. You want in? Oh, look what Vinny brought me. Vinny, can you say hi to everyone? Hi. Hi, Vinny's rocking a turtleneck and some pants. You look good. He brought some AirPods. Are we gonna go to the gym? Say yes. yes. All right, you blow a kiss. Okay. Bye, good job. Okay, go get dad. So we are all headed off to the gym today. It'll be fun and we're actually working out this entire week together, me and Darian. I've been looking forward to this so much. I just love going to the gym together. So anyways, I got my pre-workout here, prolific high volume, creatine, all that. Code Brit always saves you money on P Sciences website. It's so good. I woke up so tired today, just from like traveling and everything. I feel like it just takes it out of you. So we gotta bring the energy, bring the intensity. It's a leg day. Let's get this lift. Darian. Hi. Welcome to the vlog. I was like, we had Vinny in the vlog. I need Darian in the vlog. Darian, what do you got? What do you Yo, come on. Okay. He always come, wants to come into the vlog. My family. Just got some high volume and creatine. Yo. Mm. Cheers. And kiss. Oh. Headed to the gym. All right, you guys, starting this first workout with a warm up. Of course, we're team and never skip a warm up over here. I warm up doing dynamic exercises, dynamic stretching, and that's a big takeaway from this year is to start with that instead of static stretching. So, the difference between the two, if you're new to my channel or new to these two words, dynamic exercises or stretching is bringing movement to the muscle. And if you think about it, that makes a lot more sense to do before or as a warm up to do before your workout or as a warm up because you're bringing movement to the muscle. So these are active movements where joints and muscles are going through a full range of motion. And the reason why this is a good warm up is because these are functional moves that mimic the movement or activity that we're about to perform. And if you think about it, that just makes sense that of course you wanna be bringing movement, getting the blood flow up, getting your heart rate right up before a workout. Whereas with static stretching, you are holding that position for a while. That is great for after your workout to help bring your heart rate back down and really stretch and hold those muscles to help increase flexibility as your body temperature is already increased so you're more flexible overall. So it actually just makes a lot of sense. And I hope that if you're not already doing that, definitely start your workouts with dynamic exercises, get your heart rate up, get some movement going to your body, help wake it up, get your mind and body prepared for what's about to come. So there's a wide variety of exercises that I like to do as a warm up. Like you saw, I like to do some leg swings. I like to do lateral lunges, help open up my hips, my groin, stretch out hamstrings with those deep squat hamstring stretch. I love to do butt kicks. This really helps with your quads, waking those up. I also love to do hip openers. And of course, if the tunes are on and you're jamming, a little bit of dance moves, never hurt anybody. So the first exercise is back squats. And the way that I structure my workouts are for my workout split, the first day of the week is a leg day and it is a quad focused leg day and I'm always focusing on squats. Whereas the second leg day of the week, I'm focused more on glutes and hamstrings. So I'm doing more of the hip thrusts and deadlifts. That way I can break it up and worry about those two at separate times. So I'm starting out with pause squats. This is really helping with time under tension and just kind of working my way slowly back into a good squat form, making sure everything is perfect because I've taken a little bit of a break since I was traveling. I always structure my workouts so compounds are first. Always start with those compound movements, which is what I just did. And I got a little bit of a stretch after. Next up are front squats. I decreased my weight for this so that I can hit higher rep. And again, this is a compound movement, compound movements first. Now front squats definitely use a lot more core strength because you're holding that bar on the front of your body. So you really wanna make sure that you're not leaning over, compromising that form which can be really difficult. These are definitely a more challenging exercise. That's why I have to decrease my weight a little bit. Really focusing on squeezing my core, again, having good form, keeping that bar up and hitting a good depth. If you're new to front squats, use a preloaded barbell in this hand position, or just use dumbbells on your shoulders to get a little bit more used to where the weight is placed during this movement. Honestly, these are a quad and core killer. So now you know, you have been warned by me. <laughs>
Next up, we're moving into step ups. So I'm doing three sets of 10 each leg, so a total of 20. And I've seen this machine at my gym that I really wanted to try out. A lot of times I'll just do this on a box or on a bench with dumbbells, but this added resistance was pretty cool to be able to have the placement a little bit different and really focus on stability because that resistance is so high. So a huge part of this was just having good balance, having good stability. And a lot of times you think, oh, maybe I'm not lifting as heavy as I would like, but you have to be able to work those little muscles too. Just work on simple things with stability, balance. So don't overlook those little things. Now we're moving into a superset, and this is a brutal superset. I think I've showed this on my YouTube channel before. We're gonna do sissy squats with walking lunges. And you know, this is just a brutal quad burner. My quads are always on fire with this, but it's also such a good rewarding challenge. So I'm doing sissy squats, and I've seen people do this on like a Smith machine or using a cable machine where it just kind of stops at your knees and you use a barbell pad to pad it. So if you don't have one of those machines, that could be a good alternative. And then walking lunges. I'm using a preloaded barbell. If you wanna use dumbbells or kettlebells, if you wanna do an overhead grip, you can do that. I just wanted to go for a simple because my quads were shaking my legs were shaking at this point and this is what I felt comfortable doing at this time so I just do 20 total and I just count 20 steps and then when I hit that I am done and let me just say that they just mopped so I was really trying not to slip I don't know why I didn't do this somewhere else but it was a struggle okay to burn out, I have another superset, which is absolute fire. I'm doing the leg extension machine, which is an isolation quad. You are just working your quads on this, which is really nice to end with. That way, you know, you're directly targeting it. You know, with compounds, you're working more muscle groups. You know, you're working your quads, but you're also working your glutes and your hamstrings when you're doing a squat. Of course, you're working your core as well. So it's nice to be able to have a strict isolation movement. And then this little gem, will always destroy your quads. If you're looking for a quad burner, superset this little movement with anything and you will be destroyed. So it's a squat and then you kind of do like a front squat. I don't really know what to call this, but it is absolutely brutal and my legs are shaking at the end of it every single time without fail. My quads were already super tight, so I knew I needed a foam roll at least a little bit to break that up and break that tension down just a little bit. So I decided to foam roll at the end of my workout and it was painful. Foam rolling is such a love hate relationship, but it is so needed and this felt so great to end my workout. At the end, I decided to do static stretching, of course, just to help relieve some of that tension. And I find it really helps to decrease my soreness the next day. You know, if you're putting your body through an intense workout, why would you not treat it just as well after the workout? Give your body some love, treat it right, do some good stretching, work on your flexibility and mobility while your body is warm and you're gonna see improves in your lifts and your body is gonna thank you for it the next day for sure. What's up you guys and welcome back to day two. You know how I gotta start this workout. Gotta start it with rolling out the quads because they were still a little bit sore from the day before. Not super bad, not overwhelming, but I can tell I have some tightness there. So I'm definitely gonna take some time on that and just give it a little bit of love and attention. Help me warm up. Even though this is an upper body day, I'm hitting back and biceps. I've gotta have my body fully prepped all around, all right? Starving now, I'm eating to my belly full. From up north, we get cold, you need a heavy coat. Scared to end up on a shirt before it's in the fold. Devil on my back, talk. I do want to note that I did a warm up before hopping into exercise one. I know I only showed foam rolling, but I did some band and pull aparts and other exercises to warm up before hopping into this. I will show you more of that on the next day. Sorry, I totally forgot to film it today. No combo, I want checks. I don't want the second, I want this. 
For exercise two, I'm doing chest supported rows. I am using an overhand grip. I typically do underhand grip on the barbell when I do rows, but Darian wanted to do some of these to mix it up. And this is great because it basically works the exact opposite muscles that you use when you bench press. I decided to burn out on biceps, which I love to do at the end of my back days because your biceps are recruited during a lot of back days naturally. So I'm just doing an ISO hold bicep curl. Basically, I'm holding one arm at 90 degrees, keeping that tension in that bicep and then doing a full bicep curl on the other arm. So we're working chest, triceps, shoulders today. It's gonna be a good workout. I am having water, breakfast, and then I'm gonna be doing my supplements, my pre-workout. I'm gonna do a different flavor today. I'm doing Paradise Cooler, high volume. Again, stim free, so there's no caffeine in this. It's just pump. Vinny has a bell. And then I'm doing Melon Berry Twist for Prolific. If I'm being totally honest with you guys, I am so tired. I have been so tired all week. I don't know what it is about like traveling and then coming back and like trying to get back on it, but it's hard and there's been a lot of trips. So I'm just taking it easy. I'm not giving myself pressure, especially during the holiday season. Like I'm not trying to like shoot for any new PRs or anything. Like I'm just trying my best and to maintain the routine. I feel like that's a good default is like, just try to keep the habits that I have in place at sometimes because I'm just so tired. Sometimes you just have to go through the motions and to yesterday's workout was like that, today's workout. It might turn out better because I'm kind of already going into it as a mindset, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. So hoping I can get some energy, hoping I can get some excitement, have a good workout still, but honestly, I'm just taking it light and I think that's just what's best for me physically and mentally at this time. And it is what it is, you know? You gotta do what's best for you, especially during the holiday season. I'm trying my best and nobody's perfect. So got all my pre-workout in here. Gonna sip on it. What we got? Paradise Cooler and Melon Berry as a, as a mix. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, let's get this lift, you guys. Alright you guys, welcome back to another workout. Of course, we start every workout with a warm-up. I did not record my warm-up for back day and it's pretty similar. These are banded pull-aparts which use a scapular retraction movement to help activate the muscles throughout your upper back. So some of these muscles are your rhomboids, your traps, your rear delts, and these can really help enhance your shoulder health and stability. It's been a go-to move for me for so long. This next one, since I'm working shoulders, I remember doing this in PT, so I decided to do a little bit of an additional warm up just to help strengthen my shoulders and get them prepped for this workout. So you just loop around a band and run your hands up and down the wall. You are keeping resistance in that band, trying to keep it as far apart as possible as you do this motion. 
Okay, moving into the first exercise. Now, this kind of changes every other push day. A lot of times I'll start with chest and hit the compounds of chest press, you know, incline, all of that. But I really wanted to focus on shoulder press. I had Darian with me and I was like, eh, let's go for it. So I started with this, that way I'm not fatigued by the time I get to shoulder press. And that was the focus of this. So that's why I started with this so I could have full effort, full everything into this. So I did a warm up set and then I bumped up to 40s and then I'm gonna do a drop set set after this. Today was just one of those days where I was really in my head. So this is kind of a challenge, but I'm really proud I pushed through. I was so shaky. I was so nervous. And since I had a spotter, I decided to go for 45s and I hit one solid rep. I probably could have done two, but I need to bring my elbows in next time. Hey, you got one. I wake up, flex, on down that check. No drip, this wet. Tell them run it all. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first I stretch. Tell them run it all. Y'all gon' make me take that trip way out to Europe. I call up Niger here, come through in a hurry. Those London boys don't come to play, you should get worried. One false move, find yourself, they getting buried. This with the devil used to love playing those games. Made some bad decisions that brought my mama pain. I made a promise to her, swear that I would change. I'm on the Next up is one of my all-time favorite supersets. Go ahead and grab an easy bar. These are skull crushers, and I superset these with a close grip chest press. So this is a great tricep burnout because close grip chest press, you're also targeting your triceps and a little bit of chest. So get a great chest and tricep burnout with this. And with skull crushers, again, you wanna kinda of keep your elbows in and just bend right there to really just target that tricep. And then as soon as I do 10, I drop down into this close grip chest press. Again, keeping my arms in tight, having my elbows kind of rub against my side as I press up. Y'all gon' make me take that trip way out to Europe. I call up Niger here, come through in a hurry. Those London boys don't come to play, you should get worried. One false move, find yourself, they getting buried. This with the devil used to love playing those games. When it comes to these push downs, again, I just want to keep my elbows in, really help target that tricep, and let's knock them out. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip this Okay, you guys, I asked you on Instagram which one of these you wanted, and the results were, I just posted it. Looks like I'm going with salmon. And then I actually asked one more thing. So I asked, do you want mix and match or matching set? Looks like a matching set. So we're going full salmon today, you guys. That's gonna be so cute. pre-workout today I did of course high volume prolific and then creatine it's a leg day it's gonna be good I ended up changing to the black studio seamless because it's just one of those days you know what I mean like some days you just need to wear black leggings like you're just not confident enough and I just want to be like comfortable and have a killer leg day and I just I was it wasn't the vibe today you guys so sorry about that love it but yeah, this bra is also low support. Like it doesn't have adjustable straps, so it's definitely on the low support and I have to keep like adjusting it. Just letting you know if you're looking to get this. But yeah, cute fit, matches my pre. We love that. Vinny's all ready for the gym. We're going with Darian. And uh, yeah, I think I already said it's a leg day, but let's get this lift. Vinny, do you want to come in the vlog? Okay, come on. Hi. <laughs> we say hi. Look at Vinny's fit. He's cute. He's trying to get the microphone, huh? Oh! Let's go. Whoa, that's cool. Do you like your banana? Matching black fits. Say hi. 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 My girl, she know she the one I put the ice on her hand 
I was amazed on her arm See me shining in the light Know you found me in the dark Talking how you wanna leave Girl, you made this far Taking trips overseas No, I won't be long We came up from the weeds Now it's top, top floor All these big guests on her wrist VVS is on the neck Spending now I'm stressed When I'm making, make it stretch Double back to back then Down broke, now we rich Spend it on the letter spin Down with me to the end That my best, best friend That my best, best friend That my best, best friend I'ma spend it on her Cause she all and you too, in 30 days, can grow your legs to this. <laughs> Just kidding, this is Darian's leg. <laughs> so right now I am working on ankle mobility and that's something that is super important when it comes to your squat. So basically there are a lot of joints obviously that are involved when you're squatting and it's important for ankle mobility specifically because of the stability to flex so that it allows you to go deeper and you can have a more stable squatting. If you lack mobility and stability in your ankles, you may tend to feel like you're gonna rock back or fall over when you come down into that squatted position. So this is one of the exercises that Darian and I like to do and knees over toes, baby. We're working on that mobility to help have better form all around. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that your heel is not coming up, but that it's staying down. So this is kind of what it would look like if you're popping your heel up when you're trying to do this exercise. Giddy up, 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 giddy up. I got horses in the back. Moving on to my absolute least favorite exercise of all time. I'm trying to do these more so I don't hate them so much. It is hip thrust. I should not hate these as much as I do, especially because they're so effective for working glutes, but I just can't help but hate these so much. They're so heavy and they're so hard and I hate loading the barbell up and I can lift even more than this, but I just get too lazy to add the weight on the bar. You know, I just, it's a love-hate relationship with these. People jock on Bulgarian split squats. I hate those. Speaking of Bulgarian split squats, those are what are next. So with these, I love to have a little bit of the forward lean help target glutes just a little bit more. You can do these so that they target your quads. Oh, and there we go. Broken. Hold on. Why does it do that to me? Take two of me trying to do Bulgarian split squats. Cue music. Rubber band, 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 man. Band, man, like the cannon. I like, I like dancing. See you panning. See you scrambling. Giddy up, giddy up. And I'm ending this workout with back extensions. If you leave your toes pointed out and then kind of keep your back as an arch, this can really help target your glutes just a little bit more. So this is a great burnout using the weight. And if you want, you can even drop the weight and then burn out more without weight. Pump it, pump the glutes and push through the end. That's going to go ahead and conclude the end of this week of workouts. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Exterior red and that inside but a cup. I got what you need. I got what you want. I got what you need. Tell them giddy up. I got horses in the back. Trunk in the front. Exterior red.